there guys, Coast of Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme park. So welcome to a theme park newsroom update. We've got a ton of videos uh, to upload this evening. Uh, this one, of course, from Farup Summerland. We've got another one from Six Fast Fest Texas, which will be coming online uh, next, so stay tuned. We've also got a video from Dollywood. We've got two videos from Halloween Horror Nights. It's all going down to this evening. Now, this is the first big one. We released the first video on this it was just a short trailer uh, they released the trailer for it this morning and i revealed it and now this is the analysis my thoughts on the new coaster that's right phoenix or phoenix however it's pronounced in Dan denmark uh, it is pronounced uh, it was danish for phoenix uh, this is f the o with the line through it n i x but it's of course it's phoenix in Dan in danish uh, so this is denmark's tallest fastest and i believe longest coaster as well uh, so it's gonna be very interesting to look at all the stats around this so before we get started analyzing phoenix at far up summerland make sure you like comment subscribe cut that case bell so you never miss you YouTube video go and check out the other videos from today the trailer from this which will play on your screen uh, during uh, the information release uh, also go and watch the other video the reaction video to KSI the musical and also guys check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the reveal of the information for Phoenix at Baroop Summer so Denmark's biggest, fastest and highest roller coaster, Phoenix, will open at Farup Summerland in 2022. A massive new roller coaster will rise from the forest floor and the ashes of Corona by April 2022. Phoenix will rise 40 meters into the air and extend majestically into the forest in Denmark's longest loop ride. Phoenix will be the undisputed fastest bird on any Danish forest with a top speed of 95 kilometers an hour. That's a decent speed. So, in terms of statistics for this ride, uh, we have a 40 meter height. Now, for those of you who need uh, a bit, uh, those of you who are not as good as maths, uh, well, not as good as maths. I mean, trust me, I'm, I, I'm terrible at maths. For those of you who want to know what what 40 meters is, that's 131 feet. That's just over 131 feet. That's unbelievable. Uh, we have a top, top speed of 95 kilometers an hour and a length of 900 uh, and five meters in track. Now, this coaster will feature the world's first stall loop. So, Phoenix will be the first coaster in the world to feature a stall loop, a spectacular world first element combining the all time favorite classic looping with the inverted stall into one unique element. In this new element, the train is forced by an overhead position by half a loop, followed by an inverted camelback, where the riders experience a period of 2.5 seconds of weightlessness before entering the second half of the loop combined with a twist now phoenix will be the first roller coaster in scandinavia to offer the most so-called airtime which is a sensation of weightlessness you get when the body is expected uh, or exposed to zero gravity with a total of 14 airtime moments, such as drops, loops, and twists, you'll get the sensation of weightlessness for a full 9.2 seconds of airtime. Uh, so in terms of technical uh, specifications, uh, we have uh, a vertical 80 degree descent, or a near vertical 80 degree descent. Um, we have the station fly through corkscrew. We have uh, a two trenches with 2.5 meter dives in them uh, we also have an upward zero g in terms of the trains we've got 900 guests per hour capacity two vehicles on the track flexible vests and uh yeah this is going to be absolutely unbelievable so i mean looking at the layout uh which you can see on your screen right about now Fandabi Dozy, that is the layout look. And as you can see there, you've got these uh, all the specific elements, the near vertical descent, the world's first stall loop, the, the, the speed, the first drop, 40 meters straight down, the station fly through corkscrew, which I think is going to be a, a wonderful element to the ride. And I think that it's going to be uh, an overall amazing uh, attraction. I feel like 
you know, Phoenix has got this place uh, in the European Coastal community where I feel like it's going to be a very underrated addition, in my opinion. So let me talk through now my thoughts on what I think uh, of Phoenix at Farrop Summerland. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is speaking about Phoenix at Farup Summerland for 2022. The tallest, longest, fastest coaster in Denmark uh, with the world's first stall loop, a station fly through corkscrew, a near vertical descent, a top speed of 95 kilometers an hour, the most airtime on a Scandinavian roller coaster, 14 airtime moments. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait for this ride experience to open. You know, I think most of us were expecting like a near enough a clone to let coaster. And I think technically the model is still of a Coma Bermuda Blitz. Um... I believe this is higher than uh, Let Coaster. I believe this is higher than Let Coaster. Uh, like I said, it is, it, is, it is the fastest, tallest, longest coaster in Denmark. It's got the most airtime in Scandinavia. It's got the world's first inversion with the stall loop. I mean, they've they've conjured up this amazing coaster. I'd be very interested to know what the price tag is for this coaster because if it's anywhere around 10 million. That is a bargain for this type of, type of coaster layout. That's a bargain for this coaster. Uh, obviously, the name is Phoenix. Do I like the name? Is, is it very original? I think because there's loads of other coasters out there with the name Phoenix, it's not as original as other choices. But do I like the name? Yes, I like the name, especially with the, the branding they're going for this and the, and the kind of um, logo they're coming up for this. I think it looks very Game of Thronesy with the with the writing, with the font style. It's very Game of Thronesy, which, you know, I like that. I think that's a great move for them. So, uh, overall, I'm a huge fan of this, and I think everyone out there should be fans of this as well. So, there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update analyzing Phoenix at Farrop Summerland. We'll keep construction tabs on this all the way throughout this season. We're ready for that opening day in 2022, and we'll, uh, we'll keep tabs on the latest updates on site. So, there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for a video from Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and then stay tuned for the videos from Dollywood and Halloween Horror Nights. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child. Keep them in the coast life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a faroop-tastic day. <laughs>